Okay guys, your host Asian MMA. Uh, first things first man, I want to talk about uh, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao versus Shane Mosley. Gotta say man, I saw them standing in the ring face to face. I was like, holy god damn. This is the first thing that popped in my mind. I saw Manny Pacquiao's uh, legs during his training videos on YouTube. Does not do it justice man. His legs dwarfs Shane Mosley's legs man. Manny Pacquiao is a freaking beast man his legs were like Popeye's arms uh, you know I guess I'm kind of a Asian representative of the Asian community MMA fight thing I don't really know what I'm talking about but you know I guess I kinda have to talk about Manny Pacquiao you know he went in there did his thing uh, you know he, he knocked down uh, Shane Mosley we didn't see Mayweather do that you know so uh, yeah it's pretty one-sided uh, Props to Manny Pacquiao. I'm not that big of a boxing fan, but you know, if the best fighter in the world's fighting, the best boxer in the world's fighting, I'm gonna be watching, man. Uh, but on to the, today's like purpose of the video, okay? Went to another uh, MMA thing. This time I brought my friend, you know. Uh, finally, man, uh, I've been egging people on, like, come, come, come. Oh man, my friend did way better than me, okay? Uh, this is what happened, okay? We jumped rope, okay? And then we went into this, uh, it's called turtle exercise. So basically, someone's basically in the wrestling pose uh, position where they have, you know, they're just uh, squared up, you know, knees. I, I forgot what it's called, but, you know, arms and knees on the ground. And the guy's on top, and he's trying to turn the other guy over and pin him. Basically, you know, my friend outweighed me by 15 pounds, you know, no excuses, you know, I, I have two classes on him, so I should be able to do a little bit better. I only turned him over once, you know, he's really tough, man, uh, and he turned me over about six times. Granted, you know, it wasn't a pin, you know, I, I wouldn't call it a pin, it was like, you turned me over, but I flipped back onto, uh, you know, uh, the position, you know, I actually pinned him once, two or six times. But, you know, uh, I'll let him have that one. Uh, and then, what did we get into? Then we got into, uh, uh, no, we changed partners. I had to go with this, like, huge, he's probably Korean, man. This guy was freaking huge, man. Huge for an Asian guy, okay? He, he ragdolled me, man. Uh, turned me over twice. Me, I got zero. Uh, but he was weird, man. He, he's like... You know, you're supposed to just keep the pose, but he was holding on to my arm. You know, you're not supposed to hold on to someone's arm. That completely defeats the purpose of, uh, you know, staying in the pose. You know, the whole purpose of the drill for me was to work on your base, you know. I don't know. You know, the guy, he seems like he had a lot more experience than me. Uh, then we moved on to uh, drills to transition into uh, better positions for, you know, so we're in guard. Uh, then we're trying to get into side mount so what we did was uh, we did this thing called I think it's called like the power explode or something basically we're on our knees we explode up onto our feet while the guy still has his legs wrapped around us uh, for full guard we try to you know thrust forward if the guard doesn't break or if it breaks uh, you clasp your arms together cable grip uh, Drive all your weight to one side, and your head goes to the mat. Uh, so you stack them, basically, essentially. Uh, then you drop. The, so you put your weight on one side, then you drop your right hip. So if you're putting on, if you're putting your head on your left, you drop your right hip, and then his legs uh, go over your head, so you're in side mount. Okay. And then let's say if he d keeps his uh, legs tight, surround uh, your waist. You drive both arms onto under his legs, clasp your arms together, and then you stack them. And then uh, you do the exact same thing, get into side control. Um, we did that for a few times, change partners. Uh, I'm trying to think. And then we did this weird one where full guard, okay, uh, you pin down one arm, you pin down one arm, so like in a Kimura, his, you know, this is the floor, you pin down his arm with your wrist, you so you grab his wrist. Uh, Post your head on the mat on the opposite side. So his, his arms here, pin your head here. Um, stack him. Uh, slip his arm while your head's still on the ground, okay? Uh, am I doing that right? Yeah, go on your toes, stack him. Uh, 
change hands, put let this hand grab his wrist, then uh, get to your feet, slide his, because his legs are still wrapped around you, right? Slide his knees down, and then uh, get into half guard, put this, your right knee onto his thigh. Man, there's a lot of steps, man. <laughs> uh, this hand around his head, this hand, let go with that hand, uh, wrap his leg, pin, like lift it up that way so you're giving, putting him in like a crossbow position. End up in side control, lock your arms together, you're in side control. Two different transitions, then we went into freestyle wrestling or submissions with MMA gloves, with striking. Oh, before I go any further, I got another bleeding nose, man. This, this, this trip around, I got injuries, man. Bit my lip, damn. Bleeding nose, damn. Uh, came back, I'm, I'm missing a chunk of skin, like, like, maybe like quarter inch of skin on my, uh, left foot. That's not too funny, kind of stings. Speaking of that, I'm going to spray some, uh, some peroxide on here while I remember, you know. It's good, good to spray it. Ooh, kind of feels juicy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that in front of the camera, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, just in case you like that, you know, that pain stuff and, you know, that, two girls, one cup, and BME Olympics. Uh, then we into wrestling, man. Man, this time I got humbled like nothing, man. Everyone bitch slapped me, man. They just ragdolled me. Um, and in part, it's because I constantly keep looking. I want to be more technical, but I think I'm setting my goals way too high, man. I found out basically everyone in this class they're fighting next month, so they're these guys. They're fighters, man. They're professional fighters. You know, they're not UFC caliber, but these guys are still professional athletes, man. Uh, in my opinion, okay. I do one class. I found out most of these guys have done like three classes already, three hour sessions. Of, geez, that's ridiculous, man. And I got whooped. I got whooped bad, man. Uh, the first guy, I don't think he's a fighter, but I think he has a lot more experience than me. I think he got me an arm. No, triangle. Damn. Bit slapped me. I, I did nothing to him. Jeez. I think he reversed me. Damn. Next guy. I think I... Who'd I fight? I fought the fucking behemoth of all behemoths, man. Built like a tank. Uh, we had the MMA gloves around, so on. So we're allowed to like strike a little bit, like soft shots, honestly. Man, my right arm's starting to hurt. Anyways, uh, th this big dude, I had nothing for him, man. Uh, ragdolled me, got me an arm bar, tapped. No, he got me a trying. No, arm bar, arm bar. Yeah, that's why my right arm hurts. Yeah, he got me an arm bar. Uh, he got in side control, I think. No, he was in half guard. He's going for a side control. He need me like full on full power. And he's like, oh, sorry, dude. I'm like, whatever, man. <laughs> you know, it's heat of the moment. So it happens, you know. He's like, yeah, it's all good. Uh, didn't offer him a challenge. Uh, my friend, then my friend came, okay. Uh, we got in the clinch a little bit. We worked a little bit clinch work. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't outpower him. So, you know, I pulled guard. Uh, I pulled guard really ugly, man. I got into half guard, man. You're pulling guard and getting a half guard? I knew that was bad, man. I was like, fuck. Uh, played around there. He got into side control. I was like, damn. Damn, man. What is this guy going to do to me? Uh, then he was working body shots, man. That little bugger, man. So, you know, I covered up a little bit. He worked his way into full mount. I was like, fuck me, man. I'm getting shown up by my friend. Jeez. Uh... I was like, man, this guy's not getting any submissions on me. Uh, I eventually bucked him off. Buzzer went off, so he beat me. Then we... I didn't get a chance to wrestle him again, so I changed partners to the... I like to call him GSP, man. This guy, he shaved head, built like a tank, armor all shirt. I got 30 seconds left. Uh, he tapped me out triangle, and then uh, he jabbed me in the face, man. He's just like... Boom! And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> relax, man. Uh, wrestled one more time. Got back to your feet. The next class people were coming. I was like, okay, time to give these guys a show. Went for the good old trusty guillotine. I got this guy to tap out. Then we <laughs> wasted the last 30 seconds talking. All in all, fun. Got my ass beat.